Hey guys, welcome back to another part of the asking for the permissions video series. And in this part, uh, we're going to display the extra information dialog to the user if user denied our permissions, but that permission is really, really essential to our application to run. Let's see what I'm talking about. So here you can see it is asking for the gallery per, uh, storage permissions. And in our case, if user deny these permissions, it just display this permission is denied options and no other option is available. But what I want to do is I want to display some error dialog that says this permission is really important and you should give this. And I want to explain what this uh, permission is about. And then in that case, if users change his mind and wants to give the permissions and click on uh, that error dialog will have two options, yes or no. And if we click on yes, then I want to prompt that uh, request permission block dialog again so that user can give the permissions to our applications. And there is one more thing that we need to consider here. That is if user check on this don't ask again, then it remove this allow options here, right? So if don't ask button is click, then then we can't ask for this permissions again. So user have to go back to the applications and they need to do it manually. They need to give the permissions manually. So we'll handle all that in this video. Yeah, let's get started. So to be able to display some message to the user after the permission is denied, we need to override one more method of activity compact. So inside on permissions request result, just after this gallery block, I'm gonna go and uh, check activity compact dot should show request rationale. And in this, uh, this block will return true if user denied our permissions. And if user check on don't show this box again, and uh, denied the permissions, then this block is going to request the false. So in, in the case, user do not click on the don't show again block and just denied the permissions, then we'll, we are going to display some extra message to the user. So here we need to pass few things. First is the activity, of, of course. And after that, we need to pass the permissions itself. So manifest dot, the kind of permissions that we are talking about is write external permission right now. But if you want to display for each and every permissions, then you need to write it for each and every one, every one of them. But in the next video, when we'll talk about asking for the multiple permission at once, we will address this issue of writing multiple codes, code block. So we'll write all those things in the same, same method. So stay tuned for that and don't forget to subscribe as well so that you will be notified when I upload the next part of this video. Now let's implement this block. So what happens here is, as I said, when user click on deny button, this block is going to re, uh, return the true and this code of the code inside this block is going to be executed. And inside this, I want to create new alert dialog. Okay. Okay. That's display the extra inform information to the user. So to build the alert dialog, we can use the alert dialog, alert dialog dot builder. And I'm going to say extra info equals to new alert dialog dot builder and I'm going to pass the context as a parameter. Now we can pass extra information to this uh, builder. So using the object of this alert dialog builder dot we can uh, set icon, we can uh, set titles and set messages, so many things. So let me set the title. And since we are checking this uh, storage permission for storage permission, I'm going to say storage permission is required. This is the title of our uh, dialog and I'm, I want to display the message set message is the another parameter that we can use to display the extra message to run this app access to storage to save the file. Okay. And hopefully user is going to understand that. Okay. The storage permission is really important and now he wants to give the request uh, permissions to our application and in that case we need to display the buttons that says yes or no so if user click on yes we'll uh, prompt the request permission dialog again okay so we can create the buttons two buttons that we required yes or no by using the set uh, negative and positive option uh, method of this alert dialog so let me uh, create that first so extra info dot set positive button so this required two things first it's need the string that we need to display so i'm gonna say okay and second thing we need is on click listener so new dialog interface dot on click listener 
so this is going to listen for the on click event that user click on it so if user click on the ok button that means user wants to give the permission to our application so in that case we will display the same i uh, will execute the same code that asks for the permissions so in our case this is uh, for the storage so i'm gonna go go there copy that code and paste it here and in our case we can't use this so let's just get the okay so let's just give the activity that is main activity dot this okay so it will re-prompt that dialog to uh, take the permission from the user and if user click a no button so we can set the no button here by using the set negative button and i'll give the no option here and and we need to set the on click listener as well so that we can handle the click on this button now in this case i'm going to display new toast that says you have denied the permission or i will say some part of some feature of app might not work just to give the information to the user okay after this i need to display this uh, alert dialog to the, to the user so i can use alert extra info dot create to create this dialog and i need to show this to the user so using the show method so now whenever the user click on deny button it will display this uh, extra message to the user with yes or no prompt and in that user can select yes or no okay or no based on that we will display these messages and finally one more thing that we need to display is what happens if user uh, check on that do not show again button uh, check check box in the prompt if if user do that then uh, we can't ask for the permission again so user needs to go and give the permission manually so we'll just instruct user to do that uh, we'll display permission is denied okay so this is the uh, message that we want to show to the user so let's run this app and uh, see what what have we uh, done so far okay the app is running and now if i click on this gallery this is going to ask for the permissions for the storage and if i allow it's going just going to give the permissions but if i deny it it's going to display some extra message here it says that storage permission is required and to run this app app needs access to the storage to save the file and now if user decided to give it if click on ok then uh, we'll prompt the same permissions again and now he can allow it uh, now he can again give the permissions to our app but if he decided to check on this he can only deny the permissions and let's see what happens if i do that then it displays the permission is denied please go to the setting to give the permissions again so this is how we display the extra information when the user denied the permissions so that's it for this second part of the video and in the next part uh, i'm thinking of making a videos on how to ask for the multiple permissions at once okay and you might have seen this in other applications when there you can see a uh, multiple permission like 10 permission at a time or two permission at a time and the error dialog also display that one by two of permission is asked two by two of permission is asked and so on so that is a little bit different so i'm uh, i'm going to make another separate video for that and yeah i hope you guys learned something today and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit that bell icon so that you will be notified of the new videos because this whole month i'm going to add like two or three videos each day and uh, by the end of this month i'm uh, targeting of making like 100 videos on various topics and also if you have problems and questions you can join our facebook group i'll give the link in the description and you can also get the source code from my github I will write the separate blog post about that. You can uh, read my blog post as well. I hope I will see you in the next part of this video. Till then, have a good day.